You have now tuned in to King Joss Kitchen, and we are live for the very first time. And I'd like to introduce myself. My name is King Ja of King Joss Kitchen, uh, one seventh member of Untouched, and uh, we get it popping. Uh, like to welcome to my podcast. A um, couple things that we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about current events, hip hop, politics, House of Cards, uh, whatever shows trending that I'm watching and I'm binging. We're going to talk about that. Whatever the president is doing at that current time, we're going to be talking about that. Thoughts of inspiration to keep you inspired so that you can do what it is that you want to do. So getting started, um, a little bit about me. Um, I'm an audio engineer. Um, I do that full time. I'm also a rapper. I do that every day. Um, and uh, I get it. I get it shaken. I'm a father. Um, I'm a hard worker hard earner and I like to have fun <laughs> um, my views on politics is pretty much centered but I lean more so to the right or the left depending on the day and how I feel so pretty much centered in the way that I live my life um, so let's get talking House of Cards House of Cards was the best show that I've ever seen in my life and uh it was powerful. It really inspired me to really, really, really want to be the president. <laughs> so, yes, I'm starting my campaign. I want to be president 2032. So, from now on, it's King Josh Kitchen, president for 2032. <laughs> <clears throat> the American people don't know what's best for them. I do. I know exactly what they need. They're like little children, Claire. We have to hold their sticky fingers and wipe their filthy mouths. Teach them right from wrong. Tell them what to think and how to feel and what to want. They even need help riding their wildest dreams, crafting their worst fears. Lucky for them, they have me. They have you. Underwood, 2016, 2020, 2024, 2028, 2032, 2036. So, uh, what could I do to become president? I don't know. Maybe link up with some criminals and make a whole bunch of money. And I don't know. I don't know. The first step to do, to, to becoming president. Just lost my light. But we're here. So, um, let's talk about some music. Top 10, uh, top 10 music this week. Uh, starting at 10. We had Kendrick Lamar with DNA, AOTO with Rolex, Meek Mill, whatever you need, Kyle, I Spy, Lil Uzi Vert, Exo Tour 3, Future, number 5, Mask Off, 4, French Montana, Unforgettable, Post Malone, number 3, Congrats featuring Quavo, Kendrick Lamar in at number 2 with Humble and DJ Khaled, I'm the one. I do not like a couple of these songs. And we're going to talk about a couple of those songs. First song, I'm the one. I don't like the song. The reason why I don't like the song is because it's so cliche-ish. Anybody could have made the song. But yet, that song came out and got millions of dollars in funding. And it doesn't say anything. Did you hear Lil Wayne's verse on that song? He said nothing on that record. Did, did absolutely nothing on the record. It was a struggle to get through the 16. And I was upset. So, I don't like that song. 
Kendrick Lamar Humble, I love that song. That song should be number one. So the reason why I really don't like number one, DJ Khaled, I'm the one, is because it's number one. Um, and Kendrick Lamar is not number one. I might be a little bit biased, but it's my podcast. I can be biased if I want to. Uh, French Montana should not even be in the top ten. Future, Mask Off, I hate that song. I like the beat, whatever. Lil Uzi Vert, I have a client that I think is better than Lil Uzi Vert that can do that song a little bit better. Um, Kyle, I Spy, I like that song. I don't know why. I was smoking one day, drinking one day, came on. I liked it, whatever. Meek Mill, whatever you need. Regular Meek Mill song. AOTO, I've never heard that song. Kendrick Lamar, DNA, I love that song. Um, that song, along with Element, should be... Uh, one, two, and three it should be Element, Humble, DNA. No, it should be DNA, Element, Humble. That should be the top three songs this week, next week, until something else comes out that's hot. Oh, yes. Future has a remix with Kendrick Lamar, Mask Off. I hated it. <laughs> um... The last thing he said on the record was mask off. But besides that, I didn't like I didn't like it. It was uh, I didn't like it. Whatever. Um, what happened today? What happened today? Trump left the Paris Agreement. Uh, a lot of people were upset about it. He wasn't. He's talking about uh, bringing uh, caring about people in America and their well-being and uh, not Paris's well-being. So he's more concerned about America's well-being than China's well-being. That's what I got from what I watched, but that's actually not what the Paris Agreement was about. So I kind of feel like he was misleading because that's not what that was talking about. I don't know. Maybe. You phone in, you let me know. Uh, hit me up, uh, Ja Will Online on Twitter. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Um... I'm going to be real brief today. I have a couple of uh, uh, thoughts on uh, on uh, on a, a, a couple of thoughts on this house of cards that I want to talk about. Um, in um, season five, it was an awesome season. I watched all thirteen episodes. I'm ready for season six. Um, let me know what you guys think at Jawill Online. That's J A H. W I L L online, and that's on Twitter. Hit me up. Let me know what you thought, what you think. Let's get uh, talking about that. That's a, 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 a interesting thing to uh, to hear. Um, I fell in love with the show. I watched all four seasons over the weekend. Grew a beard. I binged. I had fun. You should do the same. Get caught up in the conversation. So it's really about this ruthless president or congressman where he started off in his evil wife. Uh, played by uh, Robin White, right? Who is also uh, Jenny and Forrest Gump. I love that. Um, and she's also the aunt in the uh, new Wonder Woman. She's amazing. That's Robin Wright. Um, that's the wife to Frank Underwood, who's played by Kevin Spacey. Um, awesome duo. I absolutely love this show. Um, so in the beginning, I guess he's a congressman. He was supposed to be uh, supposed to be. Uh, on the president's staff, he's supposed to be, uh, he's supposed to get the, the, the secretary of state position, but they gave that position to someone else. So he colluded and, uh, whipped a whole bunch of people so that he could, uh, get that, that job. So he did a whole bunch of stuff. Shady got basically him out the loop, then got the, uh, vice president to step down and become governor. And in that process, he killed, uh, a, a man who was running for governor. Um, he just did a whole bunch of shady stuff. He, <laughs> he leaked so much stuff, uh, to, he, he leaked so much stuff to the press where you're watching the show and you're like, Hey, that actually happened in real life. And so when that happened and I watched that during the first season, I absolutely fell in love and I was just like, Hey, this is, this is all right. And this would get my mind off of what's going on on a day to day. Season two came around, um, season two came around and they started investigating and, uh, he actually got the, uh, vice president to go back to be governor and, uh, he became vice president and got 
the vice president impeached <laughs> and then he became president, <laughs> which is so funny. And then uh, after he becomes president, he gets his wife to become vice president. And then after his wife becomes vice president, uh, that happens actually at the end of season four. I gave the whole season away of four if you guys didn't know that. But uh, season five, what I, what, I, what, I, what I like about season five is that they start to run the election. What I like most is that um, the guy that they got to run against him as the Republican was actually from New York and he's from Albany. So um, I like that, which kind of thought that the uh, people are watching us like, why, why everything everything that's happening around us in Albany is happening in this show? I don't know. Maybe it's coincidence. Maybe it's conspiracy. I don't know. It's not conspiracy. I don't know. Whatever. Freak that. So moving on, uh, talking about season five. Season five. Uh, it was a whole a lot of. It was a lot of uh, courts. It was a lot of drama going on. Frank Underwood was under a lot of heat. A lot of people outside chanting, not my president, not my president, because he stole the election. Um, he threw the election. Uh, they was going to lose, but they didn't want to lose the White House, so they did everything that they could do to to stay there. After they stayed there in the White House, uh, congressmen that were upset and weren't willing to pay play by his rules, uh, they, they, they went against him. So they came up with ways to get him impeached so his wife oh let's go back and talk about the wife the wife is crazy yo check this out claire underwood the wife right she is sleeping with this dude named tom yates tom yates is a writer um tom yates was supposed to be uh tom yates was supposed to be a a writer for the president what uh writing a bio for the president now the president's gay on the low he's gay and claire she's straight but she's fucking a whole nother dude she's fucking tom yates so i'm like you watch the show so boom right at the beginning first season like this dude finds this girl zoe like all right so he goes out for a smoke when they first get there he goes out for a smoke somebody takes a picture of him looking at her whatever so then essentially they link up where he's helping her out because you like i told you he wants to take this this seat so he's leaking stuff to the press so he needs somebody who's going to who's gonna you know what i'm saying play cool but i think she approached him i might have to go back and rewatch. But she approached him with the push-up bra, the V-neck, so she was trying to seduce him or whatever. It wasn't working. Whatever, the wife comes home, so you're like, oh, snap. You know what I'm saying? So the wife is like, that's cool. Like, the wife a G. I'm like, yo, the wife is a G like that? Like, yo, listen. So one day, like, I'm watching the show, I'm watching the show, and I'm like, so the dude, he goes to, to Zoe's house, he, he, he fucks her. You know what I'm saying? It, it goes down. Then he goes home, and the wife is like, just this once and he was like i don't know she's like okay i'm like oh word so it's like oh so you could just you could just have sex with this girl and your wife gonna be all right with it okay all right cool that's 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 cool so she do the same thing she you know what i'm saying and he cool with it I'm, so you gotta sit there and kind of figure out like why is they cool with you know what i'm saying uh having sex outside of this uh this marriage so Essentially, in the fifth season, she's having sex with this dude, Tom Yates, and it's, like, really kind of, like, blowing up. Like, not blowing up in a sense where it's, like, everybody knows, but a couple of key f figure people uh, figure it out. Um, so, the, 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 the husband, he had pictures of his wife and Tom, just had those in the cut. Just a couple pictures, just had those in the cut. Then, he had pictures of Tom fucking this other lady in the White House on the podium where they <laughs> on the podium and uh, I'm like yo that shit's crazy so boom president sees that so the president approaches this dude like yo don't cheat on my wife 
Like, <laughs> how, how, you, how you tell a dude that you gave permission to fuck your wife, not to cheat on your wife? Like, nigga, I'm gonna fuck whoever I want. So, the right. So the first lady, right. So the lady. So she, 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 uh, she, she catches him sleeping with another dude, another another female, and she's like, whatever, whatever. Essentially, she kills Tom. You got to watch the season to figure out all the empty parts that I missed because I don't want to give away too many Easter eggs. I want you guys to go check that out. It's a real good show. President is is crazy. Uh, Vice President is even crazier. So Frank Underwood, Claire Underwood, they both crazy, but Claire's a little bit more a little bit more crazier. Um, So House of Cards season five It's out on Netflix right now 13 uh, episodes each season One, two, three, four, and five If you're looking for something to binge on I recommend you binge on the House of Cards Because it's an awesome, awesome, awesome show Yo, it's untouched You already know what it is We're about to murder this joint Because what else? What else? Yeah, let's get it Let's get it to do it, it's go time. Be the biggest in no time. That spot at the top is so mine with no celebrity co sign. They know I be writing my own lines. And if you don't, you got no spine. That ain't who I hang around and that ain't who I stand by. No, I'm the best and I'm ahead to get it. Looking for me when they point to the rim. Grab me a switch, you know I'm a fill it. You know that they feel it when hands to the ceiling. I'm sick with the wickedness, no way of fixing it. Vodka soda, I'm mixing it. Such a shame, isn't it? Everyone talking so tough on the internet. I just been rolling up hip and I'm hitting it. All of this knowledge, I'm kicking it. That shit that I'm spitting, they digging it. Cause I just be going ridiculous, leaving no witnesses. We some citizens, trying to build up our businesses. Make some bread, what you think this is? Not a lot of motherfuckers think like this. If they did, they would stop complaining. Wanna make your life better, go and change it. I've been in my bag, trying to get ahead. Trying to get some heads, smoke a blunt, no rags. Walk up in your house, see the walls all red. Fuck all y'all dead out back in the shed. I've been getting loose in my new shit. Put the last one out, let a new clip. Uh, back in the whip, can I spit that shit? Flowing on the beat, can I spit that heat? Spitting for my niggas who be trapping in the streets. A1 nigga, you don't really wanna be. Me, my crown, I'm the king in the streets. Covered as the eagles when I need to ride the heat. One eye open, won't catch when I sleep, won't catch when I creep. Niggas in too deep, uh. I shake and finesse, I do it the best, you niggas are stress. I clock and I bag, I bag and I sell, I'm giving them hell. Ain't wishing them well, you haters can't tell, I'm dumping them shells. We niggas in touch. Out. Back this bitch like it's me. Flow so sick, I need soup, I need tea. Plug hit me, cause I move through the key. Shark gonna see how I move through the street. Don't know about you, but I know I'm G. Smoke out the wheel, I break out the peak. Only see blue when I count up the cheese. Phone gon' swear when the back call me. Must have lost your nerve when you really cross me. Got shooters that it gets you in your sleep. Better not shut your eyes, better pee. Cause it's wolves in the street trying to eat. And you fucking with the god, I let him Fuck around and get smoked, I'm a rebel like Rowdy Keep it free where niggas round me Diving your chip, pussy wet like a foul And smoking on strong, he's the loudest Most of these niggas, is funny, no joke Hope you cannot clown me Look for the truth and I found me Man, I stay high like I'm Tally Put in the work, I'm much I said, I set it off He like a red, I got umbo, but ready to die in a hearse Some of us bumping the church No stuntin', no buffin', you fakin', you bluffin' No love for these niggas Based on my speakers, I lace up my sneakers We goin' again Back in the building, with the Passion of feeling, put you to the max for the children. Highlight the facts, pull a reeling. Let me get a shot of that for the healing. Owner got me in the back for the dealing. Get it done, but then I gotta run. Easy out. Funny thing is, I never like the easy route. Run touch, better scream it out. We got something to speak about on top of blowing your speakers out. Boom, into the room, lighting the boom, drinking the brown to even out. Going hard in the east, but somehow the west is reaching out. Might have to switch up the quest and seek it out. Let's do this, man. Yeah, untouched. It's easy. Eat a god. My man King Ja. <laughs> Galaxy, what up, homie? J Mo, I see you, fella. Tone. Yeah. JP. <laughs> the whole gang. Gang. Awesome shout. Now, I have one of my friends with me. His name is Galaxy. Um, I wanted him to come talk to you guys a little bit about who he is and what he is indeed trying to do, where you can find him, and uh, what it is that he does. So, come on, Galaxy. So you already know what it is. I'm Galaxy the Rapper, repping Untouched. One of the, you know, another one-seventh of this, <laughs> of this, you know, 
unit that we got going out here. Um, check me out on SoundCloud, Galaxy the Rapper, uh, at Galaxy Raps, sound, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that shit. Yeah, man, we just we just out here at the stew about to cook up some heat, you already know. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Now, how long you been rapping? Oh, damn, since I was like 13, probably, mm -hmm. 13 years. 13? Pr started recording myself when I was like 14, 15 in my mom's basement, and then by the time I was like 16, I was hitting up like a local stew up where I live and, and uh, trying to just, you know, promote, do all that sort of shit. Um, I was sending myself out to radio stations and all that. Have you been on the radio yet? Yeah, man. I uh, when I was like 17 years old, I had uh, I had a song called "Love Me or Hate Me," and it was off uh, like the first project I ever put out, Pure Carbon. And I had like uh, I actually had like a a, a a label promoting me at that point. Not like uh, not like I was signed, but just uh, some people that fuck with me reached out and they were promoting me, Brain Fuse Records, and they had got me onto some college radio stations, yeah. all that shit. Yeah. yeah. So that was when I was like 17, but then I branched off, started doing my own thing, and mm -hmm. now we untouched, and it's a wrap, so. Awesome, awesome. So how old are you now? I'm 22, just turned 22 in May. Oh, awesome, awesome. So what are you trying to accomplish now? What are you trying to do now? I'm just trying to build this brand, this this uh, this team effort, but at the same time, like, you know, just working on my own, my own craft every day, you know, writing every single day, trying to just get better constantly. Um, I got a solo project I'm working on, um, but really mainly my main focus is uh, building, building, building the buzz for the group, for all of us. You know what I mean? Um, I'm trying to, you know, get as many, as many shows, as many tour dates, get, get our name in the people's, in the people's ears, buzzing around, you know, the state and the, and, and eventually the country. Cool, cool, cool. Now, what what do you like to watch on your spare time? Oh shit! Uh, what type of shows do you like to watch? I don't watch a lot of TV shows. I generally watch like cartoons or gory ass like horror movies that are like made with like ten dollars. That's crazy. That's so. So you're really into like gory cartoons? Well, well, not necessarily gory cartoons. If I'm watching cartoons, I like like The Simpsons or like old like shit like like that I used to watch on Nickelodeon when I was a kid. But then uh, if I'm not watching that, then yeah, probably like some shit where like everybody go to a cabin in the woods and get killed by some guy with a chainsaw. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, but TV shows um I love uh there hasn't been a few there hasn't been that many that I've like like you were talking about the House of Cards like mm -hmm. binge watching that shit like yeah. Out of all, you know, there, there's only been a few shows ever catch me like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Breaking Bad, definitely one of them. And yeah. then Dexter. I don't know if you've ever seen Dexter. That shit is crazy. Word, word. Now, let me ask you. When it comes to hip-hop, what, what, what made you want to pursue a career in hip-hop? I mean, once... Once I started actually taking it seriously, like the music, and I realized that I could make something that, like, people could put on and it could, like put them in some sort of mood or they could feel good or like either just connect to what I'm saying. Like once I realized that I could actually make music that like makes me feel the way that I feel when I listen to music that I like, I was like, word, like people pay for this shit. Why not go after it? You know, if, if people could connect with it, why not, you know, why not try to, you know, go after that ultimate goal? Word. Now let me ask you, who, who, uh, who, who are some cats in the industry, um, not in the industry that inspire you to rap? Uh, uh, other rappers in the industry, you saying? In the industry, may not be in the industry, but who? What are some? Who are some people that inspire you to, to to do what you do? I mean, if we talk in like people, people that made me want to get into rap. I mean, one of the dudes sitting in the room right here, this guy right here. I, we we've been brothers since man. What's his name? Uh, Shane. Oh, Shane. Swayze. 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 You already, yeah. So that's 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 like real close. That's family right there. So yeah. I mean, he been around me since I was. Shit, like I said, 12, 13, yeah. always doing music, always rapping and that shit. Like, so, I mean, I saw him, you know, uh, we would always just be vibing out, sharing the love of music. You know, I always had a lot of people that I respected, looked up to, but he was the first person to ever say, like, hey, well, you know what I mean? Why don't you try? Like, spit a freestyle or some shit, you know? So, we, you know, I just started doing it. Once I started writing, you know, focusing on that shit, that's all I, that, that it was it. That's all I ever cared about, you know, just getting better. Word, I could rap. I need to learn how to flow. I need to learn how to make a song, count bars, all that. Awesome, awesome. So what are some things that you aspire to do in the coming year? Oh, man. I just, like I said, you know, I, I, I want to get, I want to get, I want to get my name, you know, out there. Mainly, mainly I want to, I want to focus on 
you know, building building a good a good solid fan base. You know, uh, uh, I, I don't I don't aim to be you know um, you know the next mainstream one hit wonder. Like I just I just want to get my name and my music with it. You know, with as many people who who can rock with it. You know, uh, however many people. You know, I, as, as many people as could, could could connect with that, I wanna I wanna reach them. You know, I, w- I wanna build a fan base that fucks with me. Rather, now, where, you know. Now, where can people find you? Can they find you on Facebook? Can they find you on Snapchat? Can they find you on Instagram? Where can they find you? Oh yeah, all that. Um, uh, uh, Snapchat. Um, uh, Ray Shepard. Uh, um, Insta at Galaxy Raps. Twitter at Galaxy Raps. SoundCloud Galaxy the Rapper. Mm-hmm. Um, Facebook Galaxy the Rapper. Yeah, all that. Awesome. Now, can you leave the people with a quick freestyle because because that's why they're listening because they want to hear your rap. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You already know. I got to do it for the family, but they don't understand me when I'm in the grave still. I'm going to be the man. See, I bring it to them gladly, and I don't got to brag be. When I bring them out, they started running like a track meet. I sit them in the backseat, teach them how to act right. Still, they never learn, though we throw them off a turnpike. When I get my words right, everybody dies so. Sick of all these imitators trying to mimic my flow. Pussy-ass rap bitches probably call a 5 Now you getting mad, stitches. Put that on my life, though. I ain't joking. As a matter of fact, put the mic down. You ain't focused. Got you sounding like some rats now. Rats, rodents, and got us smoking every night. Now I'm gas poet. It's untouched for life, bro. The gang rolling. Why you coming at me like that? Yo, we ain't homies, phonies. Better stay the fuck away from me. I've been grinding hard for the team. You can stay lonely. Well fed, but a motherfucker stay hungry. Untouched, man. Yes. Yeah. Hey, yo, I like to thank. I'd like to thank you for coming. Yo, I appreciate you as always. Josh, it's a pleasure, bro. You already know. That's my rapping partner, drinking partner, smoking partner. We get it in. You know what I'm saying? Check my homie Galaxy the rapper out. Um, next week I'm gonna have somebody else from my team on. We're gonna get you introduced to the whole Untouched family. Um, this is just something that we're doing. We're trying to get you guys to know who we are. We out here. And we trying to we trying to make a difference out here, uh, doing something different, trying to get the people involved. Um, like I said about that top ten with the music, man, that music that that list is whack, and it's up to me to bring these tracks so that we can change this list up. We're gonna take over that list, that ninety nine point one list. We're gonna take over every chart top and radio local music thing possible because we're coming for you the music's original and we got original bars all music is written by us and we're gonna give it to you because that's what we do we bring you fire we bring you heat we bring you exclusiveness and it's always beautiful um so i want to leave you guys with some inspirational thoughts boom You can do whatever you want to do. You can have whatever you want to have, but it is up to you to get it. And it's up to you to put that work in to get it. Nothing's going to be given to you because nothing's given to anyone. Even when you're born with a silver spoon in your mouth, you still have to wake up and go to work and get what you want to get. And when you complete a dream, you have another dream. So we're not living in a life of settlement. We're living in a life of moving forward. So move forward. Don't get stuck in what you're doing. Don't be content with the way that life is. Do more and get more because you can do whatever you want to do. Good night. The most powerful tool that you have right now in your life, in your body, is your mind. That's why the enemy fights you in your mind. The devil doesn't have to tie you up for you to be bound. He just has to tie up your head. With stress, with worry, with aggravation, with low self-esteem, with pettiness, with anger, with hostility, with rebellion. And he can make you physically sick because your mind is sick. your hands on your head and say, give me a new mind. Give me a new mind means give me a new perspective. Give me a new perspective. Give me a new way of looking at my situation. Give me
me a new way of looking at my circumstances. Get my mind ready for this year because when I get this year, there's going to be blessings, there's going to be miracles, there's going to be opportunities. Oh yes, there's going to be some struggles, there's going to be some challenges, there's going to be some tests, but even the struggles are an opportunity for me to show off the victory if my mind can handle the change. If you can take it, you can make it. If you can take it, you can make it. All right, you train, you fight way harder than those other guys, and you win. You get out from under. You can take it. You can make it.